my uh, my storage was full. I forgot to uh, delete a couple of my last videos. But like I was saying, they they get lots of lots of fruits and vegetables. Any scraps that we have in the house, we give to them. Um, anything that's starting to turn, um, they get all of that. Anything like I said out of the garden, uh, weeds and fruits and whatever. Um, what else? Um, we went out the other day and this guy had a big massive pile of giant chunks of wood and they've been drying since uh, last summer I guess the tree fell down and they cut it up and he had a free sign on it so I grabbed uh, six pieces and they're huge and heavier than hell it's all I could fit in the back of the truck I had a few other things in there uh, let me take you over here and show you this by the way I did get all those scraps uh, cut offs and everything put in there um, yeah I've been getting tons of flowers on all my vines but no uh, no nothing on it I believe it's due to uh, lack of bees now I was just over here a minute ago and yeah there's one right there that's a, a couple slugs there's one on that one too but like I said they they've been getting in here and eating it all up um, you can see the tomato plants are popping up tomatoes everywhere I'm guessing that one's a cherry tomato these uh, all the vines over here are shooting up flowers everywhere but like I said I think there's a lack of bees which is uh, causing me not to uh, get anything so that's that um, take you over here potato plants are uh, pretty much growing out of control which is fine well, I'm gonna let them all grow these uh, tomato plants no matter how much I stake them up they just keep falling over but there are uh, flowers all through here kind of hard to see a lot of them are just getting started on flowering sorry it's so shaky I'm trying to walk out here and flip flops and it just got done raining so everything's a little slippery um, let's see we did finish cleaning up uh, all the rest of the debris that was here Lindsay wanted a, a fire the other night so she could roast some marshmallows so she went and got the wood and she did it all herself um, my meat chicken, that big, big white one right there, he's going in the freezer here sometime, uh, probably this week. Like I said, the grass all filled in pretty well over here. I know it was hard to see in the last videos, but it's, it's growing. If I can keep the kids off of it, the grass over here is having a hard time with the kids walking on it and... You can see that whole area over there and over here and this all is nice and green so it's filling in I'm gonna have to see it again and probably a few more times I'll take you up here oh. show you I, I ran some electrical um, nothing's wired up the couple of these wires are just kind of hanging um, I put a few boxes here and there. I put a light switch for that closet so I can wire a light in there. Uh, put a new box here so I can take that broken one out, wire it all into there. Hook up some plugs and put a light switch here for which will eventually be the hallway. That's uh, also a plug here that was for um, a blower from the previous fireplace area that they had. But uh, <clears throat> that whole wire is going to be getting cut out, and I'll reuse that somewhere else. Um, I'll be putting another plug in over here. This wire that's running on the outside here will be uh, rerouted. Like I said, I got some wire there for this closet so I can hook a light up in here. But uh, that, like I said, this is going to be rerouted. I just put a, put a plug there. And I got a wire running over here to this area, to that first plug, and then one back this way to this plug. And then I'll run one from here to the 
light switch eventually. Like I said, I, I did drill some holes and uh, started running it. Just uh, I left a little bit extra on, on the ends here. I stuck a plug there. I stuck one here. But uh, this is all stuff that uh, I got for free. There was uh, like eight garbage bags of stuff. Um, anything that I thought I could use in the future, I get in there. Get in. Get. Sorry, the cat's trying to get out. They remembered there's a hole in the screen. This one likes to get out. Get. So, I'm hoping the other ones didn't get out. But, uh, yeah, there was eight garbage bags. Anything I thought I could say or use in the future, I kept and uh, put away. And over the years, some of it's been used, and I, I really don't have a whole lot left. There wasn't much left uh, when I went and started pulling stuff out, which is fine. Um, it all helps. It all saves me a few bucks here and there. Um, I'm hoping to uh, have the rest of these three walls up here in the next couple of weeks. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen yet, but i um, got high hopes. I got a, uh, a letter today from the health department because I uh, they had to pull a permit to put the well in. I tried to talk them out of it, but they wouldn't have it. So they uh, the guy came out here, and I didn't know he was coming. And this was, was only when I had a couple feet of this uh, 2x12 running, and I just had the pillars. In the hole in the wall and they never said nothing about the addition because there's no permits for this um, I'm in an area where it's not really zoned so everybody kind of just builds whatever they want so I'm hoping that I can push them off for a while until I get these walls up and covered so I can just say yeah I'm getting ready to put a new roof on everything even though he's already gonna know you know that it's new because like I said they've been here before but uh, they didn't say when they were coming. They just said to call and schedule it because they want to check out uh, the plumbing, everything in here. They want to see that, make sure it's uh, 100 feet or whatever it has to be from the septic system, which is way back there. Um, they want to do some water tests to uh, check the cleanliness of the water, make sure all the chlorine that they put in the bottom of the, uh, the hole before they put the pump in is gone but let me tell you this is the best water i've ever drank it doesn't compare to anything um everybody i know that lives in the city their water sucks everybody else i know has a well their water sucks it either it tastes sulfury or it tastes like fish because they're near water so this water has got no smell to it at all it's crystal clear the guy said when he was drilling it he said this is uh, bottling quality water and he said it should take 15 minutes to clear out the, the the sediment when he was drilling it and I think he got it done in like two or three minutes but he did it longer just so that uh, it would be that much better so yeah but I'm gonna get off of here and, and go shut this window before the cats get out they've ripped a hole in it once and gotten out a couple times so I forgot that uh, when I let them out, I got to shut the window. So I will talk to you guys later, and I will keep you updated on the baby bunnies.